This magnificent Grade 2 listed building is a familiar Solihull landmark opposite Morrison's and is the oldest part of Solihull School which celebrates its 450th anniversary in 2010. Designed by J. A. Chatwin and built at a cost of £4,345 on the empty site between the Tanyard and Bradford House, Solihull School moved here on the 13th of June 1882 from Malvern House where it had been since the 16th century. Solihull School began life as the Free Grammar School and was sponsored by the release of the money from the dissolution of the chantries of St Catherine and St Mary, followed by that of St Alphage six years later. A schoolmaster was employed to offer instruction in English, Latin and Greek to the sons of Solihull residents. Those chantry chapels can still be seen in Solihull Church and the fireplace where the chantry priest used to warm himself is still visible. The original site of the school was in the square next to the churchyard wall but moved to a timber frame building in Park Road known as Malvern House where it remained until 1882. Malvern House is still there and although it has undergone many alterations over the centuries the timber framework can still be seen and with a little imagination the schoolroom can be envisaged. The schoolmaster and his family lived here and in order to supplement his income boarders were accommodated. Hence the grammar school was both a day school and a boarding school until 1988. By the second half of the 19th century it was clear that Malvern House was inadequate for an ambitious school that wished to expand and provide for an ever increasing Solihull population, the demands of which required a modern curriculum. So it was on the 13th of June 1882 that the new headmaster, Reverend Dr Robert Wilson, known as Solihull's Thomas Arnold, opened the new premises, Schoolhouse on Warwick Road. <laughs>